if you want to know how to budget, save your money, invest your money, make your money work for you, tapping into all this type of stuff, read this What's book. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Marley. Welcome back to the channel, okay? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys six books that I intend to read this year in 2023. Okay guys, so the first book that I intend to read this year is Suze Orman, The Money Book for the Young, Fabulous, and Baroque. So let's go ahead and read the back of the book. It says, Are you broke? Broke is paying your rent with a cash advance from your debit card. Broke is getting physically ill when you calculate how long it will take to pay off your student loan. Broke is treating credit card bills like kryptonite. You don't open them because you're afraid they will destroy you. Does this look like your parents' money book? Sue says, You won't catch me telling you to cut back on the ladders and simply save $10 a day as if saving $3,650 a year when you are broke could ever be simple. Nor will I tell you the credit cards are the devil in plastics. Okay, so it's a lot. So I'm not going to read everything. But I'm just going to go through it. You know what you need? You need advice that deal with reality instead of solution for the problems you have. You need to be told what to tackle first. And Suze is just the one to tell you. She knows that you've been too busy or uninspired to figure out how a Roth IRA works, what a FICO score is, and why you should even care. Not a problem. Every section of this book was written so that you can quickly and easily comprehend exactly what action you need to take and why. So pretty much this book is kind of like a map. And it tells you information about FICO score, Roth IRA, um, saving money, and all of that good stuff. So I'm very excited to read this book. It even talks about um, saving money for a short-term goal, long-term goal. It talks about mortgages. It talks about credit cards. It talks about all of that stuff. So I'm very excited to read this book this year. And the name is Suze Orman, The Money Book for the Young, Fabulous, and Broke. So now let's jump into the second book. So the second book that I'm planning on reading this year is Master Your Time and Master Your Life by Brian Tracy. And it's this book. So long story short, this book was recommended to me by a late friend of mine. He's no longer with us. Um, uh, back in 2019. So I bought the book and I never read the book. But pretty much this book is freaking awesome because it helps you to manage your time manage your life get more things done and you know you know because sometimes we have like a list of things that we want to do and i find myself having that problem we will complete everything and not complete nothing like literally so this book is a great book master your time master your life especially now this year i'm trying to be more consistent with posting on youtube and um staying on top of creating content and stuff like that i'm gonna finally read this book this year so master your time master your life is the book that i think will do it for me this year my ring light i my other ring light, I messed it up, and this one is just super, super bright, but it has a summary in the back. Let me read it. Um, it says, the most valuable and important thing you do is to think. The quality of your thinking, especially about time, determine the quality of your life. Continually stop and ask, what is the most appropriate type of time for me to use in this situation? When you take the time to think before you react or respond, you will always make better decisions and get better results. Good luck by Brian Tracy. Then the first, I know y'all could see it, but the first introduction has different kind of time. 
and it just you know tell you about different time kind of time quality for you to have a better quality of life time for work time for production family time and all that type of stuff so if you want to know how to manage your time jumbling things around and be more productive i would recommend to read this book because i've heard so many great things about it um the third book that i'm planning on finishing reading because i'm actually reading it right now for the month of uh, february so my plan is to read at least six books for the year um like one one book every two months so january february i'm i'm reading this book which is the richest man in babylon by george s clayson and this book i've read this book before in I want to read it again because I read that book back in like 2019, 2020, and it's an awesome book. This is a financial book. Um, it was written in the 1900, but it still applied to us today. This book is freaking awesome. Um, so let me read the back for you guys. Um, this book teaches you how to keep more of what you earn, get out of debt, pay your money um, put your money to work for you, attract good luck, choose wise investment, safeguard, um, and safeguard a lasting fortune. If you want to know how to budget, save your money, invest your money, make your money work for you, tapping into all this type of stuff, read this book. This book is awesome, awesome. Um, let me just read the back. Okay, the, the Bible of Financial Freedom. The ancient Babylonians were the first people to discover the universal law of prosperity. In this classic bestseller, The Richest Man in Babylon, George S. Clayson, revealed their secrets for creating, growing, and preserving wealth. For 80 years, readers have turned to Clayson's Babylonian parables to learn the fundamentals of finance and business. Through these entertaining tales of merchant tradesmen and herdmen, you will learn how to keep more of what you earn, get out of debt, put your money to work for you, attract good luck, choose wise investments, safeguard a lasting fortune. What can a book written in the 1920s tell modern investors about their finance? A whole lot. If George Clayson delightful set of parables that explains the basics of money, this is a great gift for a graduate or anyone who seems baffled by the world of finance in a wonderful refreshing in a wonderful refreshing read for even the most experienced investor. So guys, really really recommend this book if you want to learn about all this type of stuff. So now let's jump into the third book. So the third book that I plan on reading is called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. So this is a book that I've started reading, but I never actually finished it because I lended that book to um to a friend of mine and we are no longer friends. <laughs> Crazy story. But I never got the book back. But I'm planning on repurchasing repurchasing the book in Amazon. By the way, I will have all the books in the description below. Um, so if you want to purchase the book, and also I will get, I will show you guys a picture of the book right here, somewhere around here. Um, I already have the book in my cart to repurchase it, but the power of your subconscious mind, you guys, is such a powerful book. This book teaches you all things about your mind, your the power of your thoughts, the words that come out of your mouth. It just helps you be aware of the things that you do and see on a daily basis and how it affects and impacts your life. Okay, so this is the fourth book. So book number five that I plan on reading is um, Influence. So this is called Influence Science and Practice by Robert B. Caldini. This was also a book um, recommend to me a seminar and while in that seminar um, people was talking about it so this is really I'm really I really want to um, read this book because this book uh, it kind of helps I want to learn more about influencing marketing and stuff like that um, just to help my business um, because I do have a, a jewelry business or whatever 
and um just i just want to do my best um to know how to help my business grow and stuff like that so this book i'm planning on reading it um let's read the back it says over one million copies sold how does this information make you feel about the book if even for a moment you thought that a proven and popular book might be the one you were interested in, you may have been persuaded by a potent principle of influence, in this case, the principle of social proof. Have you ever found yourself saying yes to a telemarketer or to a child selling candy and then wonder why you have just agreed to subscribe to a magazine that you really aren't interested in or to buy a candy bar that you really don't want. In this revised, updated, and explained, expanded book, not only would you find out that techniques, what techniques were used to get you to say yes, but you will also learn some worthwhile ways to defend yourself from future requests. So... That's what the back of the book says, and then it has other like little information and stuff like that about um um like I guess who who participated in um writing the book or whatever. But this book is awesome. It helps you to learn about persuasion and um the art to um you know get people to be influenced by you and stuff like that. So this book is one of the books that I've been on reading this year. So I'm saving book number six. I'm telling everybody, like everybody, if you're watching this video and if you have not read this book, if you've never heard of this book, go grab that book. Go put that book in your cart to purchase that book. This book is awesome. This book is literally awesome. You could read this book every single year every month and every time you pick up that book i promise you you will learn something new this book is think and grow rich by napoleon hill the most influential success book ever written they they have a um they have a a movie um it's kind of like a movie documentary about it if you've ever 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 heard of the movie the secret it's kind of like based on the book so let's read the back of the book i feel greatly indebted for the privilege of reading your laws of success laws of success okay if i had had this philosophy 50 years ago i suppose i could have accomplished all that i have done in less than half the time y'all hear y'all hear this I sincerely hope the world will discover and reward you by Robert Dollar. Mastery of the laws of success philosophy is the equivalent of an insurance policy against failure. Samuel Gom Gompers. May I not congratulate you on your persistence. Any man who devote that much time must of necess necessity make discoveries of great values to others. I am deeply impressed by your inter interpretation of the mastermind principle which you have so clearly described um, by Rudrow Wilson. I know that your fundamentals of success are sound because you have been applying them and I have been applying them in my business for more than 30 years. John Wanamaker. Those are all the people that are giving praise to this book that are successful people. Okay? Um, I know that you are doing a world of good with your law of success. I would not care to set a mon monetary value on this training because it brings to the student qualities which cannot be measured by money alone. George Eastman. Whatever success I may have attained, I owe entirely to the application of your 17 fundamental principles of the laws of success. I believe I have the honor of being your first student. W. M. Wingler, J. R. Okay, so guys, this book. This book. If you don't grab none of the book I said, grab this book. This book. Awesome. This is the book. This is the book. This is the book. This book talks about desires. It's talk about um talks about so many so many things. It talks about um uh, energies through sex it talks about the mastermind it talks about principles it talks about persistency 
it talks about all of these stuff in this book guys this this book is awesome this book was written by napoleon hill he dedicated his life to to write this book carnegie carnegie is the person that gave him the that gave him the the job okay the job to write this book so he dedicated his, his life to write this book through Carnegie okay and he interviewed lots of people and he spent years writing this book this book was really really good so enough of me talking that's it you guys for the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comment down below which book that you are going to read this year if you are going to read any of the book that i mentioned um the links of the books will be in the description below if you want to purchase them um so that's it for the video i love you guys so so much i appreciate you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with somebody that you think might enjoy um reading one of these books so, so yeah bye i'll see you guys in the next one